QP, the Trap New York, how's that? I say get it, how's that? Even though it ain't the Trap House, it's the Trap New York, how's that? Listen, I say Team Nigma, shout out the interview, you feel me? Shout out them having me out here in New York, we out here moving out here. QP, clean, quantum physics, nigga, half a pound, we moving, man. I'm here with QP. It's Team Nigma. I'm Ro. I'm here with you today. I know you've been battling a lot in 2017. So, how do you, what are the words to sum up your last year? Like, this last I mean, year? Yeah, this last year. Expedience, you feel me? I've been trying to ex make the process just move a little bit quicker because I've been at this level for quite some time now. So, instead of just being on this level and telling I only want the top nigga, I'm like, nah, I want any nigga that got bars, performance, and is actually going to take the craft seriously. So battling Kush Cloud, right? I would say my protege from a lot of people tell me. Feel me? Might even be the fucking teacher now. Listen, you know, I don't hate you feel me. I give credit where credit due. Especially when you don't gotta use hella motherfucking performance to get by a nigga. That to me is like a gift by itself. You feel me? We lack energy most of the time. So let me not answer too many questions at once. Let me let you talk. You talk to me. Alright, now I got you. So Top 10 had a lot of personals against you. What what was that about? Like, you felt like that had the edge over you? Or? Well, I mean, this is the thing about Top 10. I, I understand when you battle somebody that got, like, some clout, the, the best thing to do is to rap about what you last known about a person. Now, I've been battling for, like, eight years. That's a fact. He rapped about the shit that went on in the first two years of my career, the whole battle. You feel me? Like, including shit that I'm going to run for right the fuck now. Like, right? No, we ain't talking about that. We talking about Mr. Chocolate Thunder and <laughs> Swave pushing me on the stuff. I'm just like, yo, me and Swave smoke together now. So I'm like, you know, the, the, the personals, <laughs> yeah, the personals are only as relevant as the... the the actual mind state that the person is in right now. So if you'd have brought up, you know, the military bitch chasing me, you feel me? That's viable. More we show still, cause that's that's timeless. You feel me? Any of that shit, good shit. But other than that, like they kind of wanted to the point. You know, you want a battle you can show people. Like yo, let me show you what I did right here. I killed this nigga. Feel me? I showed him fucking versatility, lyricism. I gave him performance, charisma. Yeah. Feel me? I freestyled. That's that's where I'm at now. I'm I'm an old nigga. I'm 32. So like, if I can't give you all five facets of battle rap, it's time for me to sit my shit down. Right. It's not. You know, you can't battle no more if it's you know you just reciting. Everybody got that. The nerds on the street can stop. Look, this man walked by right here. We gonna stop him, and he gonna give you some bars that's crazy out of this world. So that don't count no more. You gotta have the whole five, all five Definitely. categories. You feel me? All right, so the whole bullpen situation, you know, everybody spoke out in John Doe. John John the Don, what's your take on it? You know, you've been really quiet about it. Yeah, I mean, on the bullpen shit, like, like I'm a real person. I want to say a real nigga, but I'm like way too nerdy for that. Like, I'm a real person. So, like, for me to miss the bullpen event, Battle of Street Hymns, God Pen versus God Spin, for me to miss the Dallas battle, because I missed that one too, I snuck to this battle. You feel me? It's hella shit behind the scenes that I can't really talk about, because everybody knows what I do. Like, when I'm out here with my girls and shit, like, so, like, I had some shit go down in Florida to where, like, to mad and people after me. They still after me. But I came out because it's like I show love for niggas that show love. Mercy's like one of my real close affiliates, so it's like I came out on the strip like nigga as long as you make sure there ain't no white people there with dad caps on and New York hoodies on and shit, then I'ma come out there and battle. Just take my name off the card, you feel me? So like when I missed the bullpen shit, this was the first beginning of me like having to go on the run. Like, you feel me? Like this is God pen. Like people know my fucking real name. I don't like to say this, but it's like I don't do no shows. You feel me? Like my brother Clean might have some no shows and he might have some shit he going through. You feel me? Cause every time he go through some shit, niggas don't believe him. You feel me? Cause this shit happened too consistently, which is fine. But like my track record and his track record are two completely separate different Thing. Like when Jim's threatening it to come get with me, cause clean and show up, that's like, okay, my nigga, come get with me. Right. But man, I'm not even gonna touch you, my bitch is gonna beat you up. Cause it's like, nigga, don't play with me, cause like, I show up to battles. Like, quantum <laughs> physics shows up to battle. I got punched in the store by a, a bum punched me in the store, I was in my iPhone, both my iPhones. And a bum punched me, and my bitches must have jumped on the bum so fast, I didn't even have to touch him. So, like, just know that if I don't show up to a battle, Nigga, that's because the FBI is looking for me, nigga, and I move different than any other nigga. Like, I, what I rap about, I live that shit. So it's like, you feel me? When I show up to battle with three or four girls, those girls all belong to me with cues on their neck. You feel me? And just know that one of them is locked up over there snitching like a motherfucker right now. So it's like, I'm still here for hip-hop and battle rap. So, like, when you look up my caseload, feel me? No, I'm going to be moving low below the earth for the next every battle that i be on you will not see my name on the card but i'll still be on cards because that's the kind of impact i'm gonna make right now you feel me it don't matter 
what's happening, you feel me? Because what God got for me, nobody can stop me, you feel me? So that's how we move me, right? Nah, so how do you feel like being associated with QP? Like, how does that Nah, that's my brother, I love it. I love it to death. Uh, that nigga is the greatest battle rapper on earth. Uh, I learned this shit when I battled him, because I had way better material than him. I rapped for five minutes, he rapped for two minutes, and they said we had a classic. How I rapped for five fucking minutes? This nigga rapped for two minutes, and they said we had a classic. <laughs> That's how you know that the nigga got something that a lot of people don't have. So it's like that by itself, when he come out and do what he's supposed to do, like that shit is priceless. So it's like I ride with that nigga, I get jumped with that nigga, I get stabbed, shot, nigga put in the cat. It doesn't matter. You feel me? That's my brother. So it's like, you feel me? Shout that nigga out. You feel me? Because he is in the hospital. You feel me? We do got paperwork. Don't nobody care if you're in the hospital. I would have went to the hospital and still came. I would have came on the hospital plane. But that's just me. I'm, I, I ball out like that. I would have been like, how much is a G for the ride? I would have came out just so niggas couldn't talk shit, but like clean. Different shit, so it's like my brother, I love him to death, nigga, and we rock it. Like, so, last question, um, what do you give to these people, these new battle rappers, all these people trying to come up with you? What's your advice since you were OG and everything? I mean, you got to do a Danny Meyer style, but don't do a Danny Meyer style. Danny Myers came out for a year straight for two years, right? Year straight for two years, that's crazy. This nigga did 365 times, two, right? And he showed up with three rounds every time. He even paid the right niggas, and then he just took the path of like being a responsible human being. Battle rappers are not responsible human beings. So if you do this for one year straight, you will be battler of the year. You will go from here to here to here, all the way up like Twerk did, all this shit. You feel me? All these niggas did a little nerd regimen. You cannot get up here without having a nerd regimen. You gotta irritate your baby mom, your girlfriend, your wife, your best friend. Everybody that's around you don't wanna hear your shit no more. Like you rapping and they like, okay, I don't wanna hear this shit no more. Those are the best battle rappers in the world. You feel what I'm saying to you? That's what you gotta do. You gotta stay focused on what you wanna do and then you will climb the fucking ladder and reach the top and be standing at the W Hotel like QP is. You feel me? You feel me? Even with the fans on you. What's good? Thank you so much. Right. I just need to Fist. Maybe in a gaseous state I could deflate him and maybe I'll assist <laughs> but, but go for the gusto, which is the wind And be known as the guy that swung out and missed <laughs> Nigga, that's crazy oh, oh, that, was that, that was crazy I think, I'm level, I think I'm sliding down a bit No, 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 no Nigga, I'm completely leveling down I didn't want to do this shit Nigga, I had to do this I, I guess I'm settling now Nigga, what if I said fuck you and headbutt you Nigga, you be feeling heavily now Or hella profound Cause all I want is every fan to see me Push my head in the clock oh! Beat him reeking like Donald Trump. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you ain't that crazy, chump. Off the first try, messed around and got knocked up when the baby bumped. And your lady? Yo! That was crazy. I like that. And your lady? <laughs> what? <laughs> Off the baby bump. And your lady? Huh! Your hoe tell me if I win, though. Well, you get what I'm saying, clown? Was that too vague? It's not fair enough? I'ma be the man to lay some shit down on that show. Oh,